Now to a crime tracker alert, all caught on camera. It happened outside of a Madison church where thieves worked to steal a catalytic converter, except they were interrupted not once, but twice, causing a thousand dollars in damage to a church van. News 2's Mai Owens is in the studio tonight, and Mai, this is not the first time something like this has happened. No, not at all, Haley. This is actually the third time thieves have tried to steal from the church parking lot. This time, they barely came up short from removing it. On any given Sunday, this parking lot is full of cars. But on Friday, when it's normally quiet, one car caught the attention of the church. And kind of hung around a little bit, watching to see who was looking at them. Multiple cameras catching the two men. Watch as they enter the parking lot of Madison Church of Christ. The pair crawling under the truck with a saw in hand. And they almost got away with it before they were spotted. They got interrupted once when they were trying to uh, take the converter off the uh, truck. Left, came back, and... and uh, got interrupted again by one of our ministers. This is the third time suspects have gone after the church's Cadillac converters, trying to remove them from this parking lot. The last time, a bus from Atlanta had traveled to the church for work when the converters were stolen. Uh, now in Nashville is quite an item to steal and uh, to get some money for it. Uh, all institutions who have buses and trucks around, uh, even behind locked uh, gates and fences, sometimes uh, uh, they, they need to be on, on alert about uh, people wanting their converters, analytic converters. This time, they left behind a little over $1,000 worth of damages. Now, a warning to others. They happen to know if you come to this property, you're probably going to be on uh, camera somewhere. Cameras on the lookout used to protect the community work this church is doing. And leaders at the church tell me shortly after they posted photos of the suspects asking for the public's help, community members were able to identify those two men and were able to pass those names over to police. Haley.